Whoa, okay, hold on. Got some bigger stuff here. Executioner's boots? Um, that sounds perhaps a little bit concerning. And a superior necrophage oil. Sounds like that could be very good. They need armor. Now we're definitely going to be encumbered. Yeah, okay. Let's maybe loot the rest of this building, and then we'll see if we can maybe craft some stuff. Uh, I mean, I suppose that'd be for alchemy. That wouldn't really change how much weight we're carrying. That's maybe not going to be a huge difference maker, but nonetheless, I think we got some decent stuff there. Okay, we can go out this way, which is tempting, but at the same time, I feel like we probably want to go out the same way we came in, just so that we can be certain that we're covering all of our bases here. But I think what we've done is we basically run this coastline here along the edge of the harbor, and then we went in through this, which is actually one of the biggest buildings in this section, it would seem. So... Let's just make sure that we catch this corner here by the Novigrad docks, the actual waypoint for it. And then maybe, hmm, how far do we want to go down? Do we want to make it all the way back to the, the central road here before we start going into this second line here that's parallel to the street that runs along the harbor? I feel like that's probably preferable. Otherwise, again, I feel like we're likely to miss something because we'll lose track of what we have and have not yet explored well, let's look at our inventory see some of this new stuff that we picked up namely like this chest plate here is it any good it's a medium armor level seven whereas our current armor is level 11 and despite being light armor it is better at almost everything so although this is worth something seems like it is probably not great for us and I suppose maybe we should just sell or drop even the Nilfgaardian armor. Although we are in town, I guess we're not really going to need to be running all that often. I thought I even saw, or remembered seeing, something that was telling us that we would not be able to run all that often. Hello. In Novigrad, because it's more crowded and therefore you're just not able to run past people because reasons. So... Maybe it's not the end of the world if we are encumbered right now. I mean, we don't want to be picking fights in that case, because if we do end up getting into one of those and can't defend ourselves by rolling around and dodging sword swings and whatnot, then that'd be a little bit tricky. Is that thunder in-game? Is that the sound of boats leaving? I don't know. It sounded like thunder. Got me a tad confused. Uh, is this in the clear, yay or nay? This is probably also... Ooh, that's not bad. At least the optimum matter. That's valuable stuff. Okay, so... Likewise here. You guys are... Who? Henchmen. I uh, really thought you didn't have a face there. Do you have a face? It's just a... Handkerchief that is covering your lower face, and that made it really look like you didn't have a face. Just commitment. Commitment to the outfit is all. You gotta appreciate that. Okay, so I think now is this road we were saying we wanted to make our way over to before we started doubling back a bit? No, it's not actually. We want to go a little bit further first. Okay, so let's do that. Means checking this stuff out here and then can we loot in front of you? You know, the evil eye. That guy looks like he'd take a fight with us because he's like pretty buff. But what's that say? Doc hand. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, you need it. Hold on. And water is not a huge deal. Can we go through here though. Yes, we can. Um, hello, shady individual. Your health. <coughs> you doing okay? Yeah, seems like we may have, you know, like, interrupted their fizz tech stuff here. But they were keeping a broken rate, so, like, fortunately we got the chance to take that. We might have missed it otherwise. We not gone in there. Okay, and then from here. 
And I'm assuming most of the people here are not going to have much of note to say to us if we try to talk to them. I'll maybe try to make a point of initiating conversation with a few more people. But I'm expecting to get more of that type of stuff. Is this the road we're looking for? Still no. Oh yeah, actually, we have fair ways to go for actually trying to make it all the way to this street here, I think is what I was originally thinking of. But I would love if we could get to a merchant first. Now, I've not actually seen anyone that has the coin bag type of indicator. Well, I guess we don't see that when we're looking this zoomed out. But I'm thinking of, like, for example, we had a Scoyatel trader somewhere over here in the woods, roughly. So it'd be great if we could get to one of those people, more or less, as soon as possible. Hello, folk. Um, it's there. There's fishing. I suppose that's cool. But we do, I'm pretty sure, have a fishing rod ourselves. Huh. Uh-huh. Did not actually expect for us to find anything down here. There is this little area. I do now kind of want to check out. I feel like there could very well be something over here, or maybe not. There's no way that this is going to go... Or there's going to be something here at some point, right? This is like the perfect place to conduct shady deals. All you fist tech traffickers. I know where you do your business. Under the bridge downtown. Can't fool me. Other than that... Let's keep on going in. Is this really? We go all this distance when we were protecting that guy earlier? Being his bodyguard? I suppose we probably did. Can we still hop this even when we're encumbered? Yes, we can. But again, like, the side alleys that are connecting the main roads. Is that something we want to do this time or wait until we are actually doubling back? And that's kind of a, a gray area, I suppose, with our plan. Those ones were kind of speaking to me there calling out my name. So, pick those up. And then, oh, can we? This boat has an actual boat icon on it. Does that mean we could just hop in that boat and take off? Feels a little bit odd, but maybe we can. Uh, I know there's more loot there. It was lighting up. You can't fool me. I would like it. Not that it's great, but we'll take it. Okay. And this, I believe, is in fact the largest building here, at least in this part of town. So, what exactly does it have? Can we go in it, first and foremost? It is locked, at least from this angle. Of course, based on our experiences with other buildings, that doesn't necessarily mean we wouldn't be able to go in from some other side. Oh, to hell with it. Good day to get drunk off me rocker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give us a this does seem like another way to perhaps get into that same building. It is still locked, though. Up here, maybe? Second floor? Still no? Okay. There's got to be some significance to the largest building here, right? Have to imagine. Other than that, though, we'll continue onward and check out this building, wherever the door technically is. Maybe, possibly, maybe not. Okay, and this, I believe, is now the main road. Because it is a fair bit wider. And I do remember seeing these horses and the many and many stables, it seemed. What is this? Gods have heard the land's cry. Its people's long wait is over. King Radovid will save the north. Hmm. Maybe, but like, brace yourself. Nilfgaard is coming. Not quests. I actually want to just double check the map again, see if we can confirm as to whether. No, this is still technically not the road I was looking for. Again, this is totally arbitrary. 
as to when I'm drawing the line as to when we want to double back a little bit and explore the second row of streets. But, uh, especially when it's all dark like this. Step away. I'm sorry. Apparently didn't want us to join the Church of the Eternal Fire, but, you know, I was, I was thinking about it until that interaction there. You really train up your priests more? Make them nicer? Teach them to treat other people with respect? Again, I'm assuming you're probably a fake one. Indeed. Someone should take your merchant title from you. You don't deserve it. I'm sorry. I think we tried going through here initially. But we were not able... Or maybe we were able to. Were we? Nope. Never mind. We were not. So, like, here, for example, I don't even know if we would normally be able to run. I'm pressing the run button, but obviously we're encumbered, so we can't. And here? Also locked. New people. What do you want? I want a merchant who will actually buy and sell goods. That's what I want. But uh, that seems to be a bit too much to ask in this area, unfortunately. So, so if we can move over there, I mean, that is like right in the middle. You have to be pretty bold to take that. This guy is staring us down, but I mean, previous seamen and JD people and merchants have not been pursuing us when we've tried taking this stuff, so. Yeah. Like this would fetch a fortune in Zericania. It's safe to take, apparently. Oh, there is one more thing here. Yep. Two, actually. As for you people, will you get mad at us? I don't know. At this point, I feel like it's getting dangerous because I'm getting a little too comfortable with it and I'm just going to start taking things and not thinking about as to whether or not there's actually anyone who will catch us. Like, again, this is basically right in the middle. So it's probably not a good idea for us to make a point of taking that stuff. Maybe we could, but let's play it a little bit safe here. Is this the main road? I mean, clearly there are a lot of big roads. Yes, this is the one that I was looking at, though. Okay, so let's go down this one. It's raining again. And then we'll do the second loop I'm to the west. Busy. This is, of course, where we initially came down, so... We have, at least in theory, seen this stuff before. However, is this actually the opposite direction that I was thinking we were going in? Oh, no. I started going down the side. So, like, I'm thinking we go basically down there, and then... Might not be able to make it through here. But, uh... Because there's... Apparently a wall here. Maybe we do actually need to delve back a little bit and then go down here, and then ultimately we'll make our way through these back roads here. Then we can say more definitively that yes, we have explored all there is to explore in the western part of the city. This is what I want to be able to do so that we can more definitively say when and where we are done exploring. Because with the city this huge, I think it'll be, yeah, it is definitely thundering and lightning it's here. Raining again. It is raining again in the What do you seek, pain giver? Temple guard let even you into the city. Yeah, I suppose so. So yeah, uh, obviously we've had one quest thus far, Tema, but nothing else super significant. And I have to imagine the King of Beggars is of some import, given how we're seeing all these people who are affiliated with said King of Beggars. Is the King of Beggars just someone who is particularly good at begging? Can I have to climb this? It's a little odd, but okay. Also, we can't jump because we're encumbered, so I, I wanted to see if we could leap up there, but... Not at the moment. So yeah, like, if we could go through here... Which I don't think this is actually a door. But we can't. Okay, I think we have now explored all there is to explore, at least in this first area that we wanted to get to. But, uh, yeah, we, we very much need to get to a trade person at the moment. Because, uh, I would like to be able to... Oh? offload some of our stuffs. 
<laughs> Not sure we've been in here yet. Pretty sure we haven't. Why is there a little boy, a strumpet, and a poor townsperson in the same house at the same time? That seems like an odd combination. Like, this is presumably not your house. That lady there. Ooh. Perhaps they keep their valuables up here, though. It is something that will make us even more encumbered. However, I suppose once you are over the limit, there's no reason not to continue to go even further if ultimately you do anticipate making it over to a merchant, make a bunch of sales. I suppose we could be at risk of using up all the merchant's coins and not actually being able to get rid of uh, enough stuff to go below our threshold. And now I actually need to reorient myself. Because, yeah, we actually want to be going this way and then down, basically, slightly south of the road that we went down earlier. Oh. And so, ooh, hello. Sorry. So, yeah, I don't know. In other areas, I think we found that typically it is helpful to do Winds a few quests before you start exploring everything. Because I'm thinking of, for example, like... Southwestern Valen? It seemed like we did that. Oh, all the super black. I think that is. Okay. But obviously, you recognize us. Um, in Southwestern Valen, I think we did some of that where we did a fair bit of exploring, but didn't find much in the way of random encounters or quests there, at least until we did a few other. I don't remember if it was a main quest or some side quests. And then suddenly, it seemed like a bunch of things popped up. It was a little odd. But I feel like there's definitely a chance that that could also be the case here. In which case, we might be jumping the gun a little bit. And that at least, you know, we're not going to find too much here. Not that that's the end of the world. It's just that perhaps there's a slightly more efficient way of, whoa, of doing this stuff. That is a wall that we can break through. And this is a lot of loot. Is there anyone over here to check this out? Because, I mean, like, presumably we're not going to be so subtle. This. But, uh, can we, like... Do that. Uh, it was red. Normally is the quest color. Are we technically doing something that is affiliated with a quest? Or is that just meant to be an indication that yes, you can in fact break down that wall? Not entirely sure. But I suppose... For the moment, let's not ask too many questions. Let's just take our loot. I know that we can take this. Oh, hold on. There it is. Just being very elusive. Well, here... Hmm... Seems like it is mostly just a small area. A little bit of loot. Not too much else. I'm actually thinking we want to do that, but see, that's not a thing. Oh. It's hoping that would all be loot. None of it was loot, though. Yeah, it really seems like at some point in time, we're going to have a reason to come over here. But it might have been a shortcut at the very least. I mean, this is unlocked, which it doesn't seem like it is. So maybe it was just an opportunity to pick up a little bit of loot. Oh well, no worries. We now know that it exists, at the very least. It's also perhaps a little bit odd that all these fires are in fact still running when it was just raining significantly. I suppose maybe it isn't anymore. Does he think he needs them? So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll continue to explore this western part of the city. And then maybe after that, we'll make a point of... I don't want to say beelining it to Triss and the main quest, but we have explored that spot there. Uh, but making our way over there, trying to find a merchant. Those are some of our top priorities. Not sure we have any other quests that are currently marked on our map, so... We don't have much in the way of definitive things to do above and beyond those two things. 
Now let's try going down here, though. And let's see what we can find. Because, yeah, I get the impression that what with this being, apparently, the uh, not as well off part of town, there might not be quite as much for us to interact with here, at least not yet. Also locked. This is blue, though. Sure. Look, look. More goodies here. We can get in from this angle. The big building? No. No such luck. Unfortunate, but at some point, I'm assuming we will in fact get in there. And then actually go for you? Yes, we can. Okay. So I think this is the southernmost area. Let's just double check. Yeah, so we have done everything around here. This was the little area that we poked our head in. That we were not able to get this door connecting this small area to where we are right now, but we looped around, so we're good there. Then we'll make it all the way to the westernmost point on the southern side. And uh, I think that will be that for this area of town. But... First, whoa, there's definitely loot for us to take, including that loot up there that I am surprised that I managed to see, because I feel like that is awfully sneaky to be hiding there. How do we actually get it? Oh, we, we can jump when we're encumbered? I'm not sure I realize that. Can we just look up and take it, or how do we how do we technically take it? Like, this is probably not what you're supposed to do. I don't think that's supposed to be the answer. It's right up there. As you can see, it is currently highlighted. Uh, can we can we hop this and this? Oh yes. Okay, this better be awesome. It's not awesome, but we got it. Anything else of note while we're up here that we ought to pay attention to? Can we jump this? Now nah, this is too slippery, but we have been in here. This is the little area that I was talking about earlier. One that we broke down the wall to get into. Okay, it was a little worried there that we might have broken our ankles, but Geralt is fine. Can we climb any ladders to get up there? I mean, I'm not seeing that those bags are highlighted as if they are actually loot, so maybe there's no reason to go up there at all. In which case, let's keep on headed this way. Making our way westward. And these streets back here are quite abandoned, in fact. The city with 30,000 people. Not seeing many of them at the moment. Could have fooled me had I only seen this area. Okay. Assuming yes, we can make it through there. So that's good. Now let's just verify. Oh, okay. I did start to overhear something there, and this does appear to be another quest. Let's eavesdrop a bit more. Oh, okay. What's Sounds going like on here? Want to come to this person's Fuck defense? To do with you. Piss off. Lady doesn't feel like talking to you. I can handle this. Can Shut you know? your trap. Oh, uh, we might be able to convince this guy to go away because something tells me this conversation is not going to end well. If we don't intervene. Get lost. Uh, um. Who told you to butt in, eh? Huh? You all right, darling? This masquerade. Just not a good idea, I don't mm -hmm. think. Masquerade? Say what you've done. What are you talking about? Character now. Oh. I think I'll be on my way. Oh. I should think so. Awkward. Okay. Apparently that was, uh, was all part of their little plan. So my bad for ruining the moment. But, uh, well, you are safe at the very least. Maybe your safety wasn't in jeopardy to begin with, but... Uh, I mean, we're theoretically able to loot this, I would think. Uh, that's not really what I was intending to do, but sure. 
Uh, so like, again with the whole how do we not break our ankles thing? Because like, I mean, we could... Curious if any of this stuff can get knocked down. I don't think so. Any of this? Nope. Uh, see any soft landings like mattresses or pillows or trampolines? Trampolines maybe less so, but uh, thinking that barrel there a little bit broke our fall. Didn't take any damage, so. But uh, yeah, you know, like theoretically, this thing here that we're able to loot, could you like maybe let us loot it? Um. Okay, moving on. Anyways, anything else of note over here? That's cool. Yeah, I swear, the next person we encounter, the next uh, merchant, we're gonna have a lot of stuff to sell to him. Can we go in any of these buildings here? The answer. Here's we know. Just igniting. Lots of stuff here. Is any of it going to be good, or is it mostly just going to be generic crafting materials? Seems like the latter. Samuelford's uh, dust is not bad. That's an ingredient for some explosives. And a fairly rare one at that. Again, yeah. Sure. Okay. And let's just double check as to where in this area we have and have not yet been. Yes, yeah, so we're headed north-ish, but this street here that we are now turning to find is uh, one that we have not fully explored yet, so this is fair game. And I'm... Like I said, it's getting dangerous. I'm basically just walking up to all this loot and assuming that we can safely take it. Is not necessarily going to be the case every time, but is probably going to get us in trouble at some point. We can gather it here or at my place. Legends. Phosphorus might also be kind of valuable. Now, hold up. There was something there. And now I have probably confused myself as to where we have gone now that we've sort of walked in the middle of this crossroads. Yeah, so this is technically not really a place that we've been just yet, but down here is the direction that we ultimately want to be going. Let's just make sure that we find everything that there is to find in this little marketplace of sorts. I don't know if because it is kind of nighttime slash also not the best of weather, if there would normally be more people out here than we're currently seeing. So remember on the outskirts of Novigrad, we saw that that happened. I think it was nighttime in that instance, not so much that the weather was bad. But hey, they're people. They have feelings too, apparently. Get to sleep and whatnot. Anything up here? This is a very long and dramatic staircase. But is there anything for us to go through? No, it is locked, unfortunately. Okay, no worries. Let's head over here, then. Continue our stroll through the city. We're just a tourist, what can I say? Uh, yeah, it is... Strange. Those indicators there. What is that pointing us to? It wasn't that person that was just walking up to us. It seemed to suggest that it's perhaps something more significant. What exactly that? Is uh hard to say. Thought oh, there's more stuff over here as well. And that door at least appears as though we can go through it. But that might just be the back door to that large boat room that we were in previously. That would seem like that could be roughly where we are now. So is that so? I think so. Yeah, this looks familiar. Pretty sure we just walked through, like phased through that door, and this is probably the same building. Is no worries. No need to go in there then. Like for example, these areas down here, where it looks like people have stalls set up, 
Uh, is this all FizTech? Do people just leave FizTech out in huge quantities like this? Is that a thing? Not exactly hiding it. Could be a little more subtle than that. Maybe it's, you know, it, no one cares in this area. You can get away with it. I don't know. This does seem to be a bit of a back corner. It's fair share of loot at that. Yeah. Oh, that's just a fire pit. It's like, what is this dramatic thing right in the middle of this area that we're supposed to interact with? No, it's just a fire. No worries. Yeah, it is still giving us some kind of indication over there. Don't know what to make of that. What is it? Over here, I mean, once we get a little bit closer, I feel like we can maybe at least take a, a guess as to what it might be. I would have thought, or usually it's enemies of some variety. L? Second there, it looked like it was moving, but maybe that was us stepping down a step over there momentarily. I don't know. It does seem like we're getting a fair bit closer now. It seems as if the circle is getting larger. And should we be concerned about it? Yeah, I think it's right on the other side of that door there. One that's glowing yellow. So, I think that is definitely worth investigating. Like I said, as for what we might find in there, I have no clue at all. Yep, it is absolutely right over there on the other side of that. Let's just pick this up, because this looks all dramatically placed and whatnot. It is a doll. We even... Okay. Second, I thought this was going to be a, a way into the same building. Can we tell through the wall what that is? For a second there, I thought we were hearing something. Might have been a bit of a hint. No? I have no idea. Let's check it out. No more speculating. No need to do that when we can know for certain. Let's save before, just in case this is really important. I, I really don't know. For all I know, it's a level question mark, question mark, question mark enemy of some sort. Ah, uh, but it's locked. Of course it's locked. No fun allowed. And can we go through this, though? We can. Yeah, mostly just tons and tons of alcohol. Fair bit of skins of some varieties and those are usually fairly valuable to sell, but they do weigh a bit as well, so that's partially why I was saying before. If we can't sell everything that we find here, then uh, it's going to take us a while to offload it. I suppose we could ultimately just drop a whole bunch, but it feels like at some point at least, we, I would assume that we're going to run into a bunch of tradespeople. Ones who will actually buy things from us. And in fact, tell you what, there's a non-zero chance that we might already have the maximum number of some of these items. This looks dramatic, so it's going to give us a doll, right? A butter knife. Close. Yeah, because I think we saw that we can only have up to 100 of a given item, and we did reach that threshold with, I think it was, okay, water previously. There's still more over here. So we're probably close to getting back to 100 water again. But some of these other alcoholic beverages and basic crafting materials, probably not far away from reaching that threshold with those either. Almost missed this spot. That's actually some decent stuff there. Somewhat rare herbs. Allspice catches my attention. Arnaria is also pretty rare. 
feel like I'm hearing, uh, like a ghost sound coming from that room. Oh, there is another diamond dust over there. Yeah, that's not bad. Door. Okay, but I think that's everything in this building, although there has been quite a bit. Yeah, you hear that? Like that low echoey sound there? Sounds sort of like a gust of wind. Gives me ghost vibes. That would be my guess as to what's in that building there. But again, mostly just speculation. Yeah, like the alchemist powders and whatnot. I feel like there's a very reasonable chance that we have already reached our maximum amount, in which case, picking them all up is doing quite literally nothing for us right now. Let's see. We have a hundred honeycomb, actually. Would not have thought of that. We've gotten a reasonable amount from taking out the beehives, and on occasion, we'll actually see some... Oh, from, what was it? The, the actual beekeepers had a bunch on the outskirts of Novograd, so that might have had something to do with it. But that's just part of it. The other stuff would be things like... Over here, we are close to reaching 100 Alchemist Powders, but we're not quite there yet. That seemed like that was probably the most likely thing, along with stuff like Orvin Spirits. Oh, here as well, Alchemy Paste, we're on 85. So yeah, it looks like we haven't reached that threshold yet, but we're very close to reaching it. So in order to avoid it, we probably want to stop right around now. White Myrtle Pels, we have reached the threshold, and Orvin Spirit, we are at 100. Okay, yeah. So I think we probably do want to stop limiting this stuff, even if there is more, and there might be some other things mixed in here and there, and as, as he uh, accidentally loots more, he says this. But I think, let's just take a mental note of how far through we've gotten. We're like, we're almost through though. Maybe we just loot this stuff and hope that we don't happen to get some of the items that we already have a maximum carrying capacity of. I suppose we could make a point of not picking up Dwarven's Spirits, I believe, was that right there. I deliberately did not take. I knew that we're on the maximum amount of that at the moment. Anything else we were really close but not quite there yet for? This looks like something is happening here. What's left to think about? Yep. Shackle the horse and he was out to murder me. Liar. What pan this on me, Dan Ben? They told me avoid doing business with dwarven scum. Stunted bricks always cheat, but uh, cause you let the beast in there, cause me bells are self driving you mad with jealousy. Well, that Shut might be the thing we ass. were seeing in the door. Shut it, or I'll look you both up. Okay, so some kind of business deal that went awry. Now one person's accusing the other person of attempting murder, and somehow there is probably a monster in one of those buildings there. What's the problem? Let's see what the deal is. Fuck! Another non-human. You're everywhere. Silence! Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chore. You willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be, don't you, Fred? Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two pricks. A share warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped mm -hmm. up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who sick the goo, or a strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. If it's a Strigger, so that sounds like that's a problem. I mean, we can tend to it, but if we're talking about a major monster in there, then this is no easy task. Fine, I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention it, it could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. Okay. Warehouse of Woe. That's quite a name. Ah. Oh yes, you see, I have uh, I've stored all of my goods, all five thousand pounds of fizz tech that I deal in the uh, warehouse of Woe. Oh yes, it's uh, right on the corner of Fifth and Thirty Seventh Street. Okay, so I'm assuming that it is right on top of us. Oh, actually, we I don't think have. Marked it as our active quest. 13. Okay, so that's a good fit for us. Kill the monster. 
Geralt can hardly spend a day in even the most seemingly idyllic village. Is this really the most idyllic village? I mean, yes, it's got a lot of stuff going on, but certainly in this area of town, it seems like there's a lot of people who are down on their luck, what with all the biz tech addicts and other people of that sort. Uh, so without being asked to kill a monster, so it should come as no surprise, such requests came to him in Novigrad as well. On one occasion, he was asked to clean the warehouse of Neckers. Ah, oh, you gave it away! Two owners, a man and a dwarf, blamed each other for attracting the monsters there in a plot to gain sole control over the building. Apparently, the warehouse of woe is in demand. Imagine that. Okay, so... Yes, it is over here, and I would suspect that that now means that we can actually go in. Could we actually enter from this side, or do we have to go back around? Uh, we can go in this side. There is a Necker, at least. Is it quite literally one Necker? Excuse me, this Necker is level 13. I was told this was a level 12 quest. I demand a refund. Alright, Necker's dead. Is that all? Strange. Neckers rarely venture anywhere alone. Yeah, that is a good point. Whenever we see Neckers, they are always in groups. What is the deal here? Wide, deep print. A dwarf. Okay, but there's more. Someone kept it in a cage. Hmm. Ours were sawed through. That's why it escaped. Okay, so signs of a dwarf, signs of a cave, a cage that got sawn off, as if said person was trying to deliberately free this monster, and so it doesn't seem like the dwarf was maybe up to no good with that stuff. Let's see, a good reason for deliberately releasing a Necker? Wouldn't think so, and so much for the warehouse of woe storing all the valuables in the world, because uh, there's basically nothing here. I mean, it is, at the very least, quite a simple quest at the moment. Let's just double check. Is there anything else here that we can figure out, tell the guardsman what happened in the warehouse. I mean, yeah, we did get a little bit more information, so I suppose that should be helpful here, but we are done. You take care of the beast. Yes. Yes. I knew hiring which would be quickest, so figure out how it got in there. Did see cage. Found a cage. Someone had kept the necker in it. Bars had been sawed through, though. So someone wanted it to escape. Which one of them did it? Uh, I did see the dwarven footprint, so it would seem to suggest that it was the dwarf. I think it was the dwarf. What? Rubbish! Tripe! Why the hell would they do that? Seems plausible this racist got under your skin. But that's enough. Here's your pay. And you, come with me. And I suppose there's potentially... Can't wait to watch him swing. Someone will have to lift him onto the stool. Potentially other reason to think that, like, maybe his footprints were there for just doing business in the warehouse of woe, but and if it was right next to the cage. It's, uh, pretty close to conclusive evidence. 